Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you. Yes. I want to welcome everyone to overcome as deliverance and healing ministry. Deliverance and healing. Once again, this is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. Today, this hour, this morning or afternoon in your hour, I'm going to talk to you the subject called Deliverance Prayer, how to confront the enemies and destroy them. Deliverance Prayer, how to confront the enemies and destroy them. You know, there is a lot of fear right now going on all over the world. The enemy has made people to walk in fear. There is a lot of fear right now that because of the enemy. But there is a special prayer that will protect you and your family. There is prayers that you can pray. Those enemies will destroy themselves. Elijah, a man of God, silenced the power of power, the witchcraft, all the witchcraft in, in the, the witchcraft that were, were very powerful. Elijah silenced them. The witches were, were not able to open their mouth and speak. Elijah mocked them. This witchcraft, one time they were terrorizing people in Israel. They were so wicked and evil, even than the ISIS that we hear. But there is a way we can stop even these ISIS. ISIS, you can stop them through deliverance, prayer, how to confront them. You don't wait until they, 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 they destroy you. You have to destroy them before they destroy you. Holy, uh, spiritual, enough is enough. It is high time that we apply the power, the great power of heaven to stop these enemies that is attacking, attacking us spiritually and physical. There is enemy that they are assigned to attack you physical, physical, physical. They will come and they attack you. They will come with the gun and shoot you. They will bomb you. They will do that is physical enemy. But there is another spiritual called spiritual enemies. Those spiritual enemies, you don't see them. They, they work in darkness, in the world of darkness. That's why you need this prayer. If you have friends, you have no enemy, just go away. Don't listen to this prayer. And if you think this prayer always is talking about the enemies, if God has enemy, who are you? You don't have enemies. There, there is enemies that is tormenting you day and night. There is, some, there, there is enemies that brings dead dreams. People, they don't sleep. They get very bad dreams. You see yourself walking naked. You see yourself being molested by, by demons. Nightmare. Pains. You get sick at night. You have no peace. You, you, there's uh, some powers coming to suffocate you. You get your, your heart vibrating, vibrating, heart attack, heart panic attack, all these sickness, they are enemies. Those are the enemies that we need to destroy them. If you don't destroy them, they will destroy you. They have come. So you have to know how to deal with them. That's why you need to confront them. We, we go with the people of experience who knows how to fight a man of war who are specialists in war, physically and spiritually. God is with us. Therefore, the enemy will not destroy us. We will not be destroyed by the enemy. The enemy who have vowed that we will not be have peace, we will not enjoy the life that God has given us, we will enjoy by fire, by thunder. They will be destroyed. They will die. They will die in Jesus' name. Yes, let's look in the book of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of, uh, of Psalms 140. Verse 1 to 13. I'm going to pray before we, we read the scripture. Father, in the name of Jesus, I welcome your presence, O God. My Father and my God, I bleed the blood of Jesus over my life and the life of my children and everyone that are listening to this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. God of heaven, we invite you. Let your blood, Jesus, cover us and our family in Jesus' name. I bleed the blood of Jesus over my family. I bleed the blood of Jesus over, over this periscope. The periscope, I soak you with the blood of Jesus. Every wicked and evil fighting this periscope shall scatter and be lendered powerless in Jesus' name. Wicked powers of darkness that is working against this periscope shall destroy. My God, I commit the periscope into your hand. I bleed the blood of Jesus over periscope. Every wicked and evil people against this prayer shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Wicked people, satanic people, messenger of Satan, occult and, and, and satanist, 
in the better scope, I silence you with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus chase you and remove you in Jesus' name. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus over this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, cover this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I breathe the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I bless you. I give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I'm going to read from the book of Psalms. Psalms 140. Psalms 141 to 13. The message, the title is called Deliverance Prayer. How to confront the enemies and destroy them. You have to confront the enemies, and then you destroy them. Goliath, he confronted uh, uh, confront David, and then David, uh, David replied by confronting him and destroying him. When David confronted Goliath, his confrontation or his curses did not work. So the enemy who think that he's so big, he, he knows how to destroy or he has come to destroy you, you will destroy them. You will not destroy them. Goliath he was a giant that he was scared the children of Israel and he, he, he was cursing them. He was so rude, 40 days and 40 nights. And the children of Israel were scared. They were feared. They didn't know what to do. The little boy called David, when he, 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 he confronted him with the high power of heaven, with the great power of heaven, Goliath had to fall down and die. Just as a stone killed him. Beside all the, the elements, the, 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 the protection he was having, all your enemies will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every weapon of the enemy, every protection of the enemy that is protecting them, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. I come against every weapon of the enemy, protecting them, let them die, die in Jesus' name. I cast every wisdom of the enemy. Or knowledge the enemy is using to attack you, to destroy your family and your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. We bring London, England into your hand, God. We pray right now the fear and terrifying they are going through because of wicked and evil. My God and my Father, we bring that nation into your hand. We pray your masses, God. We pray for strength, God. Cover this nation. Cover the, that nation, God. Help you, their leaders and their people, Lord, my Father. In the name of Jesus, give them wisdom how to confront and stop this enemy that is attacking them physically. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God, we commit them to, to those people to you. We commit the, the leaders. We commit them to you, Lord. We bleed in the name, the blood of Jesus in that nation, in Jesus' name. Lord, also, I pray for our country, Canada. Lord, I bleed the blood of Jesus over Canada and I cover Canada with the blood of Jesus. Every enemy that would want to come and destroy this nation shall not prevail, shall not stand, shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. I commit the USA states into your hand, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, cover your people, help your people, my Father. The enemy that is rising up to destroy that nation, my God, my Father, stop them, confront them and stop them in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, I want to pray and thank you for the, the, the that we are not ignorant of the schemes and the uh, the schemes of the enemy, and we are not ignorant of their weapon. We we de, we deprogramming their weapon. Every wisdom they are using, we destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you and I bless you. I give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Amen. The Bible says in the book of. Uh, uh, in the book of Psalms 140, verse 1 to 13, the Bible says, Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. That is a prayer you can pray. This time, this is end time, where the, where, whereby the enemy is rising. Wicked people are, are more than good people. Witchcraft have advanced so much. That's why you need to pray such a prayer. You need to pray for your children. It is a very powerful prayer that you need to pray, even meditate every day. Because you don't know what is happening on, when you go out and when you come in. When you pray, God, oh God, deliver me. Deliver me, oh Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men. People are violent. Men are violent. Wicked are so violent. They just be violent for no reason. People who have been killed in England, 
Can in England, UK, in England, UK, they are innocent. They are not violent. They were not fighting. They went there to enjoy and to be happy with their family. Some people there decided to come and kill them and, and, and started running on them. They, they didn't, they weren't, they, weren't, they weren't innocent. But because of fire and evil people and wicked people, they, 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 they devise mischief in their hearts. They decide, they, they, they devise mischief in their hearts. In their heart, they are thinking how to kill people, how to destroy innocent people, people who have not done anything to them. They have not, what did they, those people did to these wicked people who have gone to kill them, slap them? Hinted them. What did these people do? Now you see, these are the this the, the device mischief in their heart continually. They gather together and stir up wars. They they get together and stir up wars. They gather together and decide how to create the wars. They are thinking if you stop this, now they were talking about cell phone devices. Laptop divisor, they have now changed to, 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 the, to use the vehicle, the van, to use the knife, to use the, to use the knife. They have changed the, their, their style. Now I pray that God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, their wisdom, their knowledge, their weapon, let it be destroyed and be learned at the powerless in Jesus' name. They sharpen their tongues like serpent, harders, portioners under their leaves. And 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 the climate climate did think of, of 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 that. Keep me, O oh Lord, from the hands of the wicked, of the wicked. Preserve me from the fire and men who are persuaded to to trust aside my steps. Now these wicked people they have sharpened their their, their tongue like serpent, like snakes. Their tongues are snakes. They are so poisonous. And to, you, you, even, if, even if you kill them, they can't tell you anything. Even if you arrest them, you do whatever you could arrest them, all of them, but nothing, you can't get information. Because since, since 11, since, since 9 11, they have been arresting so many. They could have given them information and, and know the sources how to put them off. But because of this wicked and evil, they have sharpened their tongue. They are like, they are so portionless that, that God Almighty, the high power, the low power, will meet them and destroy them. These are the people the Bible is talking. They were there before many years, millions of years, thousands of years. During David, they were there. This terrorist they did not start now. It is started long, 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 long time. It is only the prayer of deliverance that can deliver you. These terrorists, they were there from, from the beginning. It is just the name they changed. But I pray that the God of heaven will help you from these violent men, with these violent men, to preserve you and cover you with the, the blood of Jesus. They are so wicked. And that's why you see all our prayer, we deal with the wicked. Wicked, wicked, wickedly. They are so evil and wicked. They are planning. Now, when we pray these prayers, they will be scattered. If people, if the nation will humble themselves and pray, the God of heaven will help, will hear and protect. We need to pray a prayer of deliverance to, to deliver our nation, to deliver our community, to deliver our children from violent men, from evil people. We need to confront them. It is high time to confront the enemies and destroy them. We are not going to leave them. We will put the curses and, and, and send fire and the arrows of God to destroy them. We have to destroy their sources. We have to destroy their knowledge. We have to destroy their ways. David, he, he prayed very well prayer until he had to stop this war. David never lose any battle. He was winning, winning every time, every time. So we will be winning. We will be, we will not be defeated. Your child is not going to be killed by terrorists. Your child is not going to be killed by wicked people. We shall not die, but live to declare the word of God. People of God, we, 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 we are, we, we are, we are watchmen. We have to stand and confront the sources of the enemy and destroy their weapon and bring them to zero to silence them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, preserve me from the violent men who are purposed to trust aside my steps. The brown have hidden a snail for me. They have spread a cord as a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. Pursue and crime, think of that. I said to the Lord, you are my God. 
Give ears to my voice, all of my supplication. Oh, Lord. You know, they are putting the snail. You know, they are putting the drop. You don't know how they plan. For like, this is example I'm going to give to you. These people, they knew that, that the London Bridge, they will be people who will be celebrating, will be there, a lot of them. They plan, they put a drop to catch them, and they managed to catch them. Therefore, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, every trap of the enemy, every snare of the enemy that wants to catch you, let it destroy, let it be destroyed and be burned to ashes in Jesus' name. Now, this is the prayer that will petition to God, appeal to God, appealing to God. Look at that. The Bible says, verse 6, I said to the Lord, you are my God. Give ears to my voice, my supplication, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength, O, o Lord, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. David is praying that God has been faithful and he has covered him in his head in the, in the, during the battle. Now, David is now confronting the enemies. That, that, that were prepared to attack him. David is praying these prayers. That's why we need to pray very aggressive prayers. David is praying like that. Grant me not, O oh Lord, the desire. Grant not, O oh Lord, the desire of the wicked. Now, let the wicked, their desire not to function. Not the weapon of the, whip, the, weapon of the, witch, the wicked and the witchcraft not to fun, function. Grant, grant them not. They are desire, the desire of the wicked shall not prosper, shall not stand, shall not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be destroyed by fire, by thunder. Now, the Bible says, Father, know that their wicked brought device, device, lest they exalt themselves, Sarah. Come think of that, verse 9. The Bible says, those who are, who are facing me in raising their heads, may the mischief of their own leaves and their very thing they desire for me come upon them now let's pray that god will bring every calamity every desire anything they are planning against you let it fall upon their head let them cut themselves let them destroy themselves let them turn against themselves and destroy themselves let them consume themselves let them confront themselves in the mighty name of jesus these are the weapon that we pray because now david is praying that let their leaves and the very thing they desired for me come upon them so we send it back to the sender we fire arrows to of the enemy back to them the gas the, the bombs whatever they are using let it turn to themselves and destroy them let let fire let burning coals fall upon them let them be cast into the fire into the floods of water or a deep pit from which they shall not rise now here david is oh no sound hallelujah praise be the name of jesus lord we thank you father Ah, you can't hear me? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is there any sound or you can't hear me? Talk to me. Somebody saying there's no sound. Let me know if you can hear me. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Good. Thank you. Destruction is a liar. Devil, get out. Don't bring destruction. Good. Hallelujah. 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 Devil, don't bring any destruction. I cast you, I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, the Bible says, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. You check your, your, your cell phone, you check your sound. Maybe something is not wrong, it's not right, uh, right with your cell phone. But this message always, the, the enemy is not happy because we are attacking them. Now, first ten, the Bible says, the Bible says, let burning calls fall calls fall upon them let them be cast unto the fire unto the floods of water are uh, uh, all deep water pits from which they shall not rest up you see here is a big cast david is resting a cast i saying let the fire calls of fire fall upon them let them be cast into the fire let let the floods of water uh, all of deep water of uh, uh, deep water beats from which they cannot rise up. Let them enter in deep water. You know, there's a place called deep, the deep of deepest in the sea, in the lake. Let it follow them and they will never be recovered. Let them die. That's the prayer that David prayed like that. 
David prayed very strong prayers against the enemy, which means if they enter there, they will not able to rest. When Moses prayed against the enemies, he said, if God did not call me, let the ground open and swallow the enemies. And, and the ground open and swallow all the people. This is serious. You have to confront the enemies. You don't have to be great until the enemy to consume you, to destroy you. If you don't have enemy, well done. Good, good lucky. Get away from Periscope. Go away and enjoy yourself if you don't have enemy. But if you have an enemy, this prayer is for you. Because I know some of you, you don't even sleep. Some of you, you are scared. You feel scared. You, some of you people, they are walking. They fear. They scare because of attack, because of sickness, because of tormenting. What you see, you have been seeing things. You have been hearing voices. You, have, you are not happy. Because of this enemy, let them go to the pit of the deep water and, and they will not rest again in Jesus' name. Some people are tormenting and going through trauma. trauma. They are going through trauma. They are, they are suffering so much. They are going difficult time in their lives. These are the enemies. Enemies that is attacking your finances, attacking your job. You don't have a job. You don't have money. You have children. You have rent to pay. You have bills to pay. You have nothing. It is the month. It is the first week of the month. You have still, you want to call people begging. You look, you, you are becoming miserable because of the enemies. Let me tell you that God of heaven will confront the enemy. When you open your mouth to confront, ask God to confront them. Because David prayed and said, let the floods of deep water enter in them and let them sink and, and remain there that they will never be rest again. Hallelujah. First 11, the Bible says, let not a man of Zolanda's tongue be established in earth. Let evil hunters, the violent man, to overthrow him. Let calamity for his evil doings. I know and rest in confidence upon it that the Lord will maintain the cause of the affliction and they will secure justice for the poor and need for the, his believing children. You know, this is very serious. You, we have to be very aggressive with this. These are the hunters. They hunt innocent people. They know that people are celebrating, people are in the concert, people are happy, and they go to confront them. Lord, my father, let them overthrow. Wherever they are coming to confront you, wherever they are coming to kill you, physically or spiritually, sickness, they are attacking you. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bleed the blood of Jesus. And I thank God that God will protect you, will protect you and heal you. Let God heal you. Let the blood of Jesus heal every sickness, diseases, all those bad dreams, every satanic dreams that you dream, witchcraft dreams are dark. I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, let satanic dream, bad dreams die. Let them be wasted. Let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, I want to thank you God. I bless your name Jesus. I lift your name up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Now uh, let's look at another scripture. Uh, the, the book of uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah 4 verse 14 to 23. This, is, this, is, this one is heavy. Destroy the enemies. You have to destroy the enemies. The enemies cannot destroy you. They are enemies. God has said Jesus Christ came to destroy all the enemies. You don't need the enemy to make you suffer. You don't give a chance to the enemy. People of God, we have to cry and pray. We have to use this scripture in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says, Nehemiah 4, verse 14 to 23, the Bible says, I, look, I looked them over and lose, and, and lost up and said to the nobles and the officials and the other people, do not be afraid of the enemy. Honestly, honestly, remember the Lord and imprint him on your minds. Remember the Lord and imprint him. Remember, do not be afraid of the enemies. Do not be afraid of enemy because we have power. He who is in us is bigger than the enemies. The power of God is bigger than the power of the enemies. God is able to destroy the enemy. The man of God, Nehemiah, told them, don't be afraid. Our God is going to frustrate them. Our God is going to destroy them. God is going to confront all these enemies. Don't give them chance in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The Bible says, and then the Bible says, 
great and terrible. Take from him courage to fight for your children, your, your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. You see, the, the, the Bible is taken. Be, uh, take from him courage. Take from him courage. Take the courage from God. Take, take the courage from him. Fight for your brothers. Fight for your, 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 your sons. Fight for your daughters. Fight for your wives. Fight for your homes. Fight. Fight. By, by, the Bible tells us fight. The Bible has not told us not to fight. The Bible has told us to fight. To fight for our children, to fight for our brothers, to fight for our sons, our sons, our young people are suffering. Let us fight them. Let us fight. We are not going to watch them being destroyed, being taken in captivity, being destroyed. Let us fight. The Bible says fight. Get in courage from God. God is a fighter. And we have to fight. In the name of Jesus, strip, go out and fight for your brothers and sisters and your daughters and your wives and your homes. Fight, fight, fight. Hallelujah. The Bible says, verse 15, and when our enemy had it, that their brought was known to us and that God has frustrated their purpose, we were, we were turned to the war. Now, when the enemy has had that God has frustrated their, their, their purpose, their, their plans, now, when the enemy, the enemy will hear, and then God has frustrated their plans. God is one to frustrate every plans of the enemy. God is one to frustrate the enemy. Enemy, God is one to frustrate them. We all turn to war, everyone to his work. Uh, everyone to his work. And from that time, forth, a half of my servants worked a task, and the other half held the spear, sh shelter, bows, cords. Of males, of, of, of male, and the leaders stood behind all the house of Judea. Those who built the wall and those who, bow, who, who bear the burden rotted themselves so that everyone worked with one hand and held a weapon with the other hand. You know, we work with one hand and this other hand we are holding the weapon. We are holding the weapon, the word of God, the Bible against the enemy. We will work. We are going to work, but we hold the word of God. We, we, we are not going to scare. We are not going to fear that the terrorists are coming to terrorize us. We will work, but we have the word of God. We have the weapon in our hand like this. Now when they will come, we will confront them with the word of God. We will cast them will, will send their weapon to be frustrated that the enterprise will not function in Jesus name will raise up the word of God in the mind this is the line word that has fire it's a bomb it's a nuclear bomb this is the one the weapon we hold in the mighty name of Jesus we hold this Bible we hold this Bible we hold this Bible in the one hand and the other one we are working we are not going to fear what the terrors and the demon and the witches and wizards are doing to us we are not going to look what they are doing we will fight for our children we will fight for our sons and daughters we will fight for our wife and husband we will fight for our homes we are one to fight hallelujah yes lord thank you jesus yes lord my father in the name of jesus and every builder had his sword granted by his side and so worked and the who surrounded the trumpet was at my side and i said to the nobles and officials and the rest of the people the work is great and scattered and, uh, and scatter and we are separated on the wall one far from another in wherever press you in wherever press you hear the sound of the trumpet rally to us there our God will fight for us, so we will labor at the work while a half of the a half of them laid the spear on on you until the stars came out. Our God will fight for us. Our God, children of God, our God will fight for us. We are not going to fear what the enemy is going to do. We will confront them and fight them and destroy them and, and destroy them in Jesus' name. Now, we, we see verse 22. The Bible says, And at the third time, also I said to the people, Let everyone with his servant run within Jerusalem, that at night they may be a guide as to us and the river during the day so no so none of us i my kinsmen, my servants no nor the men of the guide 
who followed me took up off our clothes. Each kept his weapon in his hand for days. So we keep our weapon. We keep our weapon in our hand. We are the one to bring revival. We will be setting a weapon of prayer. The prayer that it will, will make the enemy to lose their direction. Will blind the enemy, their ways, their minds. Will make them, they will not be function in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God that God has, has, has God has not leave us a witness. God has not leave us without a witness. He has said, he has given us, or, uh, he has given us authority he has said fight fight i i am with you i'm not going to leave you i am i will i am going to fight for you you fight don't be scared go ahead and do the work work go and work don't fear go and work do the work do no more duty don't fear them but have the weapon of the prayer have the weapon of the word of god have me first i will fight for you and they will be destroyed in jesus name now the Bible says in, in a Psalms 55, verse 23, the Bible says in the book of Psalms 55, 23, the Bible says, but, but you, O Lord, will bring them down to the pit of destruction. Men of bloodish and deceit will not live out a half their days, but I will trust in you. God is going to bring your enemy down. God is going to bring destruction, the, 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 the bit of destruction, the blood is men, wicked people, witchcraft, evil people, terrorists, ISIS. God is going to bring them down. They will be bring them, they will not, they will not continue. They will, they shall stop. They stop is coming. People of God, Christian, we have to fight. We have to stand against this. The Bible says, God will bring them down. God is going to bring them down. They, they say, there's a very strange, there's something is going to happen that will stop completely these terrorists, these evil people from the rest of their life and their children, children will never attempt to do that. God of Almighty have had the cry of people. God of Almighty have seen the wicked of the wicked. And now it is time God is, vengeance is going to fall upon this wicked. The only problem is that if the nation will repent and pray and it depend on God of heaven, God will fight for them. We as children of God, we believe in God. We pray God will protect us. We, we represent ourselves, our family, our children. They will not be a victim. They will not be victim of this slaughtering which is going on in the world. In Jesus' name, we will cover our family with the blood of Jesus where they are going to work. I have told you before, I was in a bomb blast in Nairobi. I will never forget what happened. The first bomb that we were bombed in, in Nairobi embassy, Nairobi American embassy, that bomb killed so many people. I was there. I was not special. That's why I'm saying God is with me and I still have life to, to, to go a long time. The people, the secretary, all the people, I was with them, they died, all of them. And me, I was scared. I God saved me. Through, I don't know, I don't tell, I can't really explain how I found myself out and how I managed to go and found myself in in a, in a, in a, in a far, in a, in a halfway of the city, out of the city completely. Even when people saw, people were pulled from those lackets and they saw a woman like me, they started mourning and crying, saying I'm the one. This is the truth, God is my witness. I was there in the bomb press, but... I am not special than those people who died. But I know that God, whom we serve, will bring these wicked and evil people destruction and they will go down and, and God will, will, will rest you up in Jesus' name. We, we serve a God who lives. We serve a God who, 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 who answers by fire. Yes, yes, I know angels of God moved me. Angels traveled. I know. I, because I don't, I, 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 every time I'm trying to think, how did I come from that building? I can't get the answer. What I know, I found myself, uh, like Philip found himself somewhere. This is the truth. This is the truth. But those days, I didn't know this prayer that I know now. I didn't know the deliverance that I know. But God has, uh, prepared, God was preparing me to know that he has power. We've been pumped so many times in Nairobi, Kenya. And now that first one which killed so many people, that was that that is what that is where I was. Cooperative house, 
which was roasted, which was which was bombed to ashes. It was it was destroyed to pieces. Nobody survived except a few people like me who survived from there. Yes, let's look at the book of Psalms 73, verse 18. Psalm 73, verse 18, the Bible says, Surely you reset them in slavery. Presses, you cast them down to destruction. Let them be slavery. And presses, you cast them down to the destruction. When they are walking, when they are driving, wherever they are walking, let them be slavery. Let them be twist their legs and break their legs. Let them fall down. Let them crash. Wherever they are coming, what they are planning to do, let those bombs blow to themselves and kill themselves in Jesus' name. Now, Psalms 141, verse 10. Psalms 141, verse 10, the Bible says, Let the wicked fall unto their own net while I pass by safely. Let the, the wicked, we pray that let the wicked, this is the Bible, this is the scripture which prays. Uh, uh, the, the man of God, when he was praying this prayer, this was death and life because there is wicked, there is evil, there is enemies. That's why I'm saying if you don't have enemy, that's fine. Good. Good luck. But if you have the enemy, you have to pray these prayers. You have to silence them. A light man of God silenced the bow, silenced all of the witchcraft. 400 witchcraft were silenced by one man. He said, if, a man of God, if I am a man of God, let fire fall down. They are, Elijah lost 50 people and 50 and 50 people one time when they when they come to confront him he confronted them he said who are you talking to who who are you talking to you think i'm not a man of god if i'm a, if i am a man of god let fire come and the fire roasted 50 people and then the second one they came with the with the road pride and they didn't know that this is a man of god of fire and he raised another fire and roasted them. All the people were roasted to ashes. That is the power, the high power of heaven. The, the highest power of God. We don't have to choke with the devil, with the enemies. When the enemy is coming to confront you, you don't have to wait to them. You, you pray for them good prayers, soft prayers. The kingdom of God suffered the fire and the fire has to answer by fire. The kingdom suffered and it is the, the fire that will stop this, this wicked uh, wicked people, satanic people that are resting against against people. Now, here is the Bible says, let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by freely, safe. You will pass safe. You are not the one to fear. This is not their country. This is not their land. The land belongs to you. You are a child of God. The land is yours. The town is yours. It belongs to you. It doesn't belong to the wicked. It doesn't belong to the evil people. It doesn't belong to witchcraft. This nation, it does not belong to witchcraft. It belongs to you as a child of God. Wicked people, they will fall down to their own net and you will pass safely without fear, without tormenting. Don't fear what they are doing. You have power. You have power to put them down and stop them in Jesus' name. Don't fear that witchcraft. They are tormenting you. They are coming to torment, scare you. They are magic and, and, and evil and wicked. Confront them. Cast them. Deprogram their witches. Speak the word and it will be established. They are also using the word. They are using the word and sacrificing their gods. You also sacrifice to God. Give your offering to God sacrifice, give a sacrifice over it and it confronted them, you will see if it will not work. You just, it doesn't work for you because you don't know, you don't know what to do. You know, call me. Call me, I will help you. Call me. If you have been attacked, you have been chased by demon, you have been chased by enemies. Call me, I will confront them and put them a stop for you. In Jesus name. Call me. My number is 905-792-3798. Call me, I will put them a stop. Those witchcraft that is attacking you all the time, all the time you have no peace, all the, the whole home, everyone, you have nothing. They have been coming to you, they are a great enemy of God. Call me, I will bring them down. I will cast them. I will, I will stop them for you in Jesus' name. Yes, hallelujah. That's the number. Call me for deliverance. I will help you. Thank you, my brother. Now, Isaiah 47 verse 11 says, but evil will come on you, which you will not know how to charm away. And disaster will fall on you, for which you cannot atone. And destruction about which you do not know will come on your, 
on you certainly. This is how you pray. The wicked, the wicked, the, the wicked, the evil people, they, they are planning schemes and the wicked. Now the destruction will come that they will not be able to jump. Because they are wicked. You send the fire, the thunder of God. When the thunder of God will come, they cannot able to jump. They cannot able, able to stop. The disaster, the disaster will fall upon them. The natural disaster. You have seen how many disasters come. Natural disaster. The floods can come and flood everywhere because of the wicked and evil. You see how many, you, you have seen a uh, destruction that the Bible talks about. I, I want to preach this thing. Yes? God of, of, of Almighty will rain fire rain from heaven and destroy them. You can't control them. You don't, you don't, you cannot stop them when it is the wrath of God. When God wants to deal with the enemies, when God decided to deal with Sodom and Gomorrah, there, there were people in Gomorrah. They were rich and wealth and people there. When the rain of fire started raining in Gomorrah, they were not able to control. They didn't, even fire brigade, they could not be able to control the rain of fire. You, you cannot, even if you have expert fire brigade, fire people, they cannot control it. The fire of God will come natural disaster. That has no, has no protection. It is only God will stop. They will come against the enemies and the enemies will suffer and die. On your behalf in Jesus name now the Bible says in Jeremiah 17 verse 8, 16 the, the book of Jeremiah 17 verse 18 the Bible says let those who persecute me be put to shame but as for me let me not be put to shame let them be dismayed by but not me not, not me be dismayed bring on them a day of disaster and crush them with the twofold destruction hallelujah hallelujah praise be the name of jesus this is a deliverance prayer and, and, and de prayer of deliverance this bible is is is, is a is institution this bible is a row and a and a weapon and an institution it is a bible that will stop all this wicked you know you cannot be put to a shame shame and disgrace will not appear to you and dismay let it go to your enemies let your enemy face disgrace and shame and 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 and, and, and destruction and disaster in the mighty name of jesus disaster will not locate you destruction will not locate you dismay will not locate you shame and disgrace will not locate you every shame and disgrace and shame let it them there let it be wasted let it go back to their sender in the mighty name of jesus let them let them be destroyed let them be crushed into pieces let them be be crushed into twofold destruction in jesus name that is a prayer that i pray by the power and the blood of jesus the word of god is alive it will never change it is against the wicked and the enemy destroy them confront them shame and disgrace will not locate you let it locate your enemies and dismay and lend at them and let destruction fall upon them let disaster fall upon your enemies in the mighty name of jesus let them lock lo, lo, uh, locate them and fall upon them that they will not be able to stop in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah yes in the book of psalms 55 verse 23 the bible says but thou O lord shall bring them down unto the pit of destruction bloody and deceitful men shall not live out out i have their days but i will trust in the lord you see they will go down your enemies those wicked Wicked people are fighting you. They will go down. God will bring them down to the pit of destruction. They will be distracted in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord, you are the church of all the earth. Let your righteous judgment overturn every satanic judgment against you, against your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, God of heaven, oh God of all churches, God who judges the heart and the, the righteous, let every satanic judgment against you be lendered the powerless be destroyed and be be cut into pieces in jesus name when they have they are, they are sent they have they have taken you in their kingdom in the world of darkness to to set a judgment against you through dreams dreams that that you are walking naked dreams that you are you are eating they are setting you they they charge you they put judgment on you and then when you wake up you are already being charged 
and then you start having what we call bad luck everything you do, you do you can't you can't succeed everything is going wrong everything you can't you you are fired you are you are such having sickness because they have passed judgment and now you are suffering I pray, oh Lord, you are the church of all the earth and let your righteous judgment overthrow every satanic judgment against your life, against your family, against you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I reject the disgrace, agent of shame and disgrace, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus, reject, reject, and I reject the disgrace and shame and, and, and the essence of shame and disgrace against your life, against you and your family. I reject them. I pray that the God of heaven will reject every shame, essence of shame and disgrace, be paralyzed by the fire of God in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every evil and writing against your life and your family be canceled and the writing of the enemy because Jesus has brought out every and writing, every evil and writing. It has been brought out. Therefore, wherever as, as write your name, as using your name, registered your name for evil, uh, spotting your location, spotting your city, spotting your country to come and destroy, let them be destroyed. Let their ways be crippled and be crushed into pieces in Jesus name. Even if anything the enemy is doing against you, today is an end. 24 hours, let them die and kill themselves in Jesus name. Every satanic audience asking for your, your downfall, receive the fire of God and be scattered in Jesus name. I pray every satanic law invoked against your destiny. I be, be cancelled, be cancelled by fire, be cancelled by the law of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. And the power working to unseat you from the place of blessings, I command them to fall down and perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them fall down and perish. Let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Where there is no way, oh Lord, make a way, make a way, let, me go to, let, me make a, let God make a way for you. Where there is no way, oh God, let God make a way where there's no way for you. God is a maker. God is making way where they have closed all doors, where they have closed windows. They have fired you. They have, they have said you will not make it. Oh, God of heaven, make a way where it seems to be no way. To you, it is, looks like no way. You have the last. You have nothing. You don't know what to do. You have no way to go. But God of heaven will prepare a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God of heaven will prepare a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, I bleed the blood of Jesus. Every satanic church holding court against you in the dream. Every satanic church holding court case in the dream against you. I command them to fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil association against you be scattered in the name of Jesus. Let all wicked spirit working against you fall down, fall down with fall down by their wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. Every wicked spirit working against you, let them fall down by their own wickedness and die in Jesus' name. Confront the enemies. Let the enemy destroy themselves. Let the enemy, those who are gathered against you, let them fall themselves. Let them scatter in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. This is spiritual warfare prayer. We are praying deliverance prayer to deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Spiritual enough is enough. We have to stop this wicked personality, wicked evil, spiritual wicked personality that have vowed, that have dedicated themselves to destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my father, let all wicked spirit working against you fall down by their own wicked and perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every wicked that has been done against your life, against you, let them stumble, let them stumble and fall down in Jesus' name. Every wicked, anything that the enemy has said against you, this wicked, every satanic wicked that I've, I've, I've done against you, let them be slumble, stumble and fall down and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Any good thing that the enemy has removed from your life, your home, your work, your marriage, your children, restore immediately in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, restoration, restoration is coming from every good thing that the enemy has removed from your life and your home, your marriage, your children, your work, 
Let it be restored. Let them restore immediately in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I command every spirit of wickedness that has, has ever had anything to do with your life. Light now from the womb to gather together now in Jesus' name. You forces of darkness, you forces of darkness, wicked that have gathered now, receive the judgment of God and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Let your enemies, let wicked people, receive the judgment of God and be destroyed by the Holy Ghost fire. Let the fire of God consume every wicked people, every satanic people, message of Satan assigned against you, monitoring you, monitoring you in a mirror. Let the mirror be broken into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God of Elijah, arise, confront the enemy and their covenant. Confront the enemies and their covenant. Let the, the covenant of witchcraft be destroyed by fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power assigned to prolong, prolong your problem, I command them to die. Let them die by fire, by the power that establishes heaven and earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Prolong a program, problem. You that strong man, prolonging problem in this person, prolonging problem in this woman. Let them, let it, let the, let let the, the 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 power in heaven, let the power that establishes heaven and earth fall upon them and destroy them in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every instrument of the wicked assigned against you backfire in Jesus' name. You know the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall pro shall prosper, shall prosper, shall prosper. Now the weapon of the enemy will not prosper. That weapon, that instrument of the wicked will not prosper. They will be back, 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 backfire. They will be backfire in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus right now. And I reverse and destroy their weapon, their instrument. Backfire, 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 backfire. Every equipment, every equipment of every equipment, every instrument of, of weak of wicked assigned to you, assigned to, to your family, assigned to your children, assigned to your life, let it backfire. Let it backfire. Because there is no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, let God God show you the benefit of the secret of your life. Let God show you the benefit, the benefit of your life. Let God to show the secret of the benefit of your life. Why are you this way? Why are you being attacked like this? What is going on in your life? Oh God, my Father, I pray, arise, set the altar of the wicked on fire. Let God set the altars of the wicked fire. Let God set the altars of the wicked fire. Yes, my God, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you, you, I pray that you will not be wandering. You will not be wandering from press press because of the wicked what they have done. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, my God and my Father. I bless your name. I cover your people with the blood of Jesus. Let Holy Ghost fire cover your people from the wicked from evil from satanic people from witchcraft and wicked people in the mighty name of jesus lord i thank you i bless your name i give you all the glory in the mighty name of jesus fire of god cover your people holy ghost fire cover your people blood of jesus cover your people in the mighty name of jesus from terrorists from evil, from fear. Lord, cover them, help them, protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you and bless your name and give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. <coughs> I want you to call me to attack those witchcraft attacking you. I want you to call me to attack those wicked people. Those are being attacking you. If you are living fear, you, you, you fear, you scare of wicked and evil, which character is attacking you, call me. My number is 905-792-3798. That is the number on the screen. You write it and copy, call me. I will help you to attack those works of the enemy, the, the wicked, that is and scare you, that make you, you can't sleep, that stop your job, that make you miserable. I would, you know, the Bible says fight for them. I would fight them. I'm not scaring them. I'm not scared. Don't scare them. You fight them. Stand firm. God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. I want you to go to, to the, our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca and donate an amount. If this prayer is blessing you, for sure, 
if this if you are really blessed and you i know some people in youtube they watch these prayers they are happy but they never donate anything then that's fine but remember you have to sacrifice you have to give sacrifice it is when this prayer will work for you this prayer cannot work for you well if you don't give sacrifice those witchcraft those wicked they sacrifice you know even the terrorists how much they are cost to, to be a terrorist it costs them money it's not free it is not free to succeed to kill people like that it they cost them so now you to destroy these works of the enemy works of darkness works of the witchcraft and evil you have to give sacrifice please go to our website donate call me if you need to donate you can light a monogram you can go to monogram uh, you can go to, to 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 email transfer you can write money order and you can send your money bank order you can do whatever you want to do sacrifice so that i can stand with you against this wicked power that is affecting you and and god will help you in jesus name thank you very much thank you thank you god will help you god protect you god will help protect you and see you tomorrow at the same time nine o'clock or nine thirty i will be on and god will help you in jesus name share this scope share your friends it will be there on periscope it is on youtube god will help you continue listening and god will help you in jesus name thank you very much this is your host prophetess dr christine Sigi, saying bye bye see you tomorrow i love you so much and there's nothing i can do about it you know i love you i love you if some